This is almost a four year old Android phone and this is running on the latest Android 13. The last official Android update was the Android 10. The thing is a lot of people have these old Android devices that stopped receiving Android updates despite the hardware itself is quite capable of running the latest Android. The Pixel phones from Google itself receive about four years of uh, major software updates whereas uh, the Samsung is pretty good as well with about three to four years of updates. Forget about the other brands and the budget devices. Also if you look at the iPhones uh, they usually get about six to seven years of software update. Uh, on the Android side, this is the reality. So this is where the Android developer community comes in place and there are so many custom ROMs. So here the Linear Joys is one of them. Very popular, has pretty much support for almost all the devices and uh, it also has all the instructions on how you can actually load that particular software. This is what running on this device and it's not like I'm showcasing this, it is actually practically usable on a daily basis and this is working really really well so now let's look at the device if you go into the settings you will see that it is running on the android 13 and also just take a look at the software uh, security patch level that is pretty latest as well some of the latest android phones don't get this so the first thing that i really liked is the lock screen it looks pretty cool and look at the transition when you power the screen on it looks very subtle and Look at the notification panel looks pretty stock and very cool I would say. Uh, after all going from the old software Android 10 to the 13 definitely feels very refreshing. This is running on the dark theme so it looks pretty cool as well. Also another good thing is that there is absolutely no bloatware. Uh, it has very few apps and uh, if you want you can also completely not have the Google apps as well. However I chose to have the G apps. So you can see it is pretty simple and sleek I would say. So if you look at the performance, the performance is absolutely fine I would say. And let me tell you guys this is not even a 90 or 120 hertz display, this is 60 hertz display. So keep that in mind and also look at the transitions and the Google feed and everything. It feels decently good I would say, I mean don't expect it to be super fast like your uh, latest Android phone. For an old four year old phone I would say this is really good. So as you can see I am trying to perform some simple tasks like opening chrome browser and checking out browsing and stuff and dialer messages. So some of the most of the simple tasks it can easily handle and just not really the gaming I mean this has never been known for gaming uh, I mean it's not a gaming device so yes definitely as you can see this is running as smooth as let's say the android 10 that it was officially running on so no issues here i would say and absolutely a daily driver material as far as i can tell another cool thing is it has those moto actions or gestures that are working as you can see uh, shaking the device can launch the camera and stuff like that which is pretty cool i would say it really feels exciting and refreshing to load the new software onto the old device. It almost feels like you are holding a new phone itself. Now I'm not really suggesting this to everyone but there are some tech geeks who might want to try this out. So for them what I would say is just install the Project Treble app and see uh, the kind of uh, software support your device has in terms of available custom ROMs. You can find out all the details and your system information. Uh, to get started and in a nutshell what you can do is uh, firstly just unlock the bootloader and then set up your computer with ADB and fastboot and finally flash or install the TWRP any, or any other recovery and just load your software that's uh, pretty much it. This takes a little time and effort to do this however you can easily do this. This is not a proper guide but I just wanted to share this experience. So anyway that's been it for this quick video guys uh, don't forget to like this video also subscribe thanks for watching I'll see you soon.